Okay, I lied in my last video. I said that was going to be the last one. It's not the last one. We're going to go a little bit further today. What we're going to do is we're going to hook up two LEDs, but we're going to do it in parallel instead of in series. So in series, like I explained in the other video, World Series, you can't play game seven without first playing games one through six. Okay, in parallel, you can go through either LED without passing through the other. In other words, they're like parallel branches. Think of them as, um, let's say you're leaving school at the end of the day, and you can go out one hallway on the left, maybe the 500s hallway on the left, or you can go out the 600s hallway on the right. Either way, what you know is you have multiple ways to get to the end goal of the parking lot. Okay. We also know a couple of things, like for instance, in 500s hallway, the traffic might be moving slow. The 600s hallway, the traffic might be moving fast. There are some analogies here that we can use to explain the flow of the electrical current through the different paths. They don't have to travel at the same speeds anymore if we allow them to have multiple ways to get to the end goal of being grounded. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to take these two LEDs, green and blue, and you'll notice that I have the push button switch still set up. This time the push button switch goes out, goes diagonal, and it goes through the resistor, and this is where we're going to start our circuit. So if I just took this blue guy and connected it in as such, what I'd be doing is this. After it crosses through the push button switch diagonally, it goes underneath and travels to the leg of the resistor. It travels through the resistor, and then underneath it's going to travel and through this invisible wire to the blue anode, up and through the LED, and then out to ground. If I want to add a second LED, but do it in parallel this time, in other words, last time I would have hooked it up so it travels through one and then it travels through the other to get out. But this time what we're going to do is this. I'm just going to hook up this in the exact same location. There we go. That black wire is hidden a little bit. It's still in place. But what happens is now is the terminal here, terminal two, the electricity comes into the resistor. It travels through the resistor. And when it goes out, it has choices. It can either go down to the blue one, through it, and out to black. Or it can go up through the green one and out to black. So it has two choices here. So we say these two are in parallel. And you're going to see when you start the simulation, hard to tell, but it acts a little bit different. The lights are a little bit brighter, okay? And there's a reason for that. And your job then is to go hook up meters to measure like the voltage across the green, the voltage across the blue, and the voltage across the resistor. That's what you're going to do in this activity. I've got one other video I'm going to make. I'm, I'm going to separate it out and make it a different video, but what we're also going to measure for this particular circuit is the current in each path, the current, okay? So look for one more video to come. It'll be dealing with how to use the meter to measure current instead of voltage, which is something we haven't done before. But for now, you know how to hook up now a parallel circuit with two LEDs.